Hello everyone. Welcome you all to this uh, new video. So today in this video, we are going to continue with some other concepts from module one. Uh, few of the concepts are pending so that we are going to do it in the upcoming videos. Already from module one, I had covered in the first video, the fundamental steps and components of uh, under an image processing system. And, and in the second video, I had uh, completely deal with the structure of the human eye, what are the present in human eye and how the image is formed in the human eye. Okay. So that I've done in the second video and in the third video, that is the previous video, I had dealt with the brightness adaptation and discrimination in the human eye. Okay. How the human eye responds to different, different adaptation of brightness and the different instances of images, which are getting towards our eye. Okay. So that I've uh, explained with respect to the illusions, illuminations and uh, different uh, parameters such as contrast and uh, image uh, optical illusions and match bands okay so these three we have discussed already so in this video we are going to discuss with the image sensing and acquisition okay so let us see what is this image sensing and acquisition introduction incoming energy is informed into a voltage by the combination of input electrical power and sensor material that is responsive to the particular type of energy being detected that is here in case in the in case of image the voltage corresponds to the pixels okay the pixel values that is the change in the pixel value intensity levels those are the energy transformed into the voltage in case of an image okay by the combination of input electric power input electric power deals with the pixel value that is whether it is a black shade or a white shade and the sensor material so that sensor material is very important that is the image that would be passed through a sensor and uh, based on the passing through the sensor, the image, uh, the reflected rays would be very, very essential to give the desired energy. Okay. The output voltage waveform is the response of the sensors and a digital quantity is obtained from each sensor by digitizing the response. Okay. So this was complete about the introduction part of the image sensing. So these are the three important uh, sensor materials. Okay. Okay. So one is a basic normal sensor where the energy is getting reflected through a filter. And this is the sensing material here, which is shaded in gray. And this is the power in, this is the housing part that is uh, completely covered in order to cover completely the sensing material and power is provided to it. And it is passed through the sensing material and uh, the energy also gets combined through the uh, power uh, combination of filter. And this is the voltage waveform that gets out after the the brightness energy is passed through it okay this is one sensor and these are the combination of sensor in a particular line okay that single line is called as a sensor strip okay so this is one sensor this is a sensor strip and here these are the uh, this is in the form of x and y where the image is getting formed okay so based on this different this is one single line and we are having multiple lines you see here so that forms a complete sensor array okay so this is one sensor and used using this sensor we would be forming one sensor strip and uh, using these sensor strips one by one one below the other the sensor array is formed where the complete formation of the image would be taking place in this platform okay so this is about the image sensing these three patterns you should be remembering very well okay first let us see the image acquisition using a single sensor okay so this is a single sensor here okay so this is the film part sensor linear motion and rotation taking place that is first one image line out per increment of rotation that is per increment means after one rotation one one image would be getting lined out you see here it would be coming towards this direction okay it would be rolling and flowing towards this direction in a linear way and full linear displacement is taking place due to the rotation which is happening continuously of sensor from left to right okay the rotation direction also that i mentioned it from left to right so using single sensor, the most familiar sensor of this type is the photodiode. Okay, this one example you could be giving for a single sensor uh, uh, system that is a photodiode. It is constructed of silicon materials whose output voltage waveform is proportional to the light. The use of a filter in front of a sensor improves the selectivity. For example, a green pass filter in front of a light sensor favors the light in the green band of the color spectrum. Okay, as a consequence, the sensor output will be stronger for green light than for other components in the visible, visible spectrum. Okay. 
so using single sensor uh, this means that a single way, a single for reflect on a single path of light only could be traveled okay a multiple path of light cannot be traveled through a single sensor through a single sensor only one single color spectrum or the single path would be followed and based on that the processor processing would be taking place and the output produced would be very very efficient okay generation of two dimensional image using a single sensor there has to be relative displacement in x and y directions so x and y directions are these things here okay this is x uh, y this is x in a 2d they have mentioned it in a 2d right so that's why between the sensor and the area to be imaged high precision scanning example is shown where film is mounted on drum whose mechanical rotation provides displacement in one dimension single sensor mounted on a lead screw provides motion in a perpendicular direction okay mechanical motion can be controlled with high precision thus this method is inexpensive but very slow okay so this method which they mentioned it using single sensor is not a precisable method okay it is a adoptable method but it is a very slow and uh, this would be very very efficient for a single ray of light okay the process is very slow that is one advantage a disadvantage you could be making note these kind of uh, mechanical digitizers are sometimes called as micro density meters okay so this is all about image acquisition using a single sensor these things you should be mentioning next image acquisition using sensor strips okay so this is one single sensor strip here okay where the complete image reconstruction is happening based on the three dimensional surface okay so you see here they have given it here so this is the sensor strip here this is the linear motion in between the sensor strip and this is the complete image area okay where one image line out per increment of linear motion okay keep it in mind they have mentioned only one image line out per increment of linear motion that is if this is the complete image one by one each sensor strip would be going towards the processing taking place that is image reconstruction and this in this way the complete uh, using the sensor here this sensor it would be passing one one sensor strip at a time from top to bottom and completely complete image uh, would be cut it in, cut into the different sensor strips and the image would be coming out okay so this is how, all about the image acquisition using sensor strips 4000 or more in line sensors routine used in airborne imaging application it is used in medical imaging computerized actual tomography okay so this is the image acquisition using sensor strips next is image acquisition using sensor arrays okay so this is one very very important part okay where you see here this is the illumination energy source here which is provided to the uh, scene element that is one simple form of light is uh, uh, reflected here okay and you see here this is the image plane complete image plane this is the imaging system where the brightness part is getting uh, over uh, uh, passing towards this imaging system and this is the output digitized image okay so this is the complete image reflection here which is passing through and this is the image formed here the same image and with this imaging system which is formed in the internal image plane the output digitized image would be uh, getting formed through the methods of sampling and quantization okay so the methods of sampling and quantization we are going to discuss in the upcoming video in this way due to the illumination of energy the image would be formed in case of the digitized image okay so that is only possible due to the sensor arrays okay using multiple sensor strips as shown here together okay whereas in uh, sensor strips this image would be getting divided into different sensor strips and one by one the each strip would be getting functioning and after that the increment would be happening but in case of the image acquisition using sensor array all together the complete image is getting processed okay so this is about image acquisition using sensor arrays typical sensors for these cameras are ccd arrays so this is one application array of 4000 into 4000 that is the width and length response of each sensor is proportional to the internal integral of the light energy proportional to the surface of the sensor motion is not necessary since entire continuous image falls on the array of sensor okay the motion is not required at all that is uh, continuous flow of uh, images is not there because here 
one image is completely getting processed right not one by one so that's why motion is not necessary energy for, from illumination source is reflected from scene element imaging system collects the information of incoming energy and focuses on the image plane in case illumination is light that is the if we have any uh, not this is was this one is for a dark right dark image see if the illumination if is, is for the light image then you see what would be happening lens on the imaging system projects viewed scenes on lens on the focal uh, focal plane okay we would seen on lens of the focal plane that is if this is opposite of color that is if this is white and the black illumination energy is formed then what would be, what, what it would be the change is this image would be formed as mentioned here but here the output digitized image would be completely different from that of the image formed in here okay the colors would be completely different sensor array which is coincident with focal plane produces output with proportional to light received at each sensor okay so yeah so this was all about image sensing and acquisition which i wanted to discuss in this video so these are the three important uh, terms that is the one is using sensor sensor strips and sensor arrays okay so you could be expecting this question for uh, 7 to 8 marks in the exams so that's all for the video guys please like this video share this with the uh, with your friends and support our channel subscribe to our channel okay thank you